we can do a whole lot of figuring things out in the field, and we will. Uh, survey techniques, how, how many samples to collect, uh, the, the things to measure, etc. One of the things we can't just invent, though, um, are, th are aspects of our work related to electronic data collection. That stuff has to be good to go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deploying some of our uh, temperature loggers here. In this case, we're using hobos, which are from Onset. And so that's what these guys look like. These guys are waterproof and uh, they can be submerged, all kinds of great stuff. And these guys are good to go as they are. You'll see there's an O-ring in here, there's a battery in here, and they'll be logging. We can set uh, the frequency of, of data collection, and they'll go, uh, depending on what we set them, for months at a time, or, or even longer, potentially. Um, the problem is, we're, you, know, you can have these on your, on your chest as you're out there diving or snorkeling or whatever the heck it is, but um, we want to keep them out for a long period of time. So we're going to deploy these while we're in the cooks, and then we will hopefully be leaving at least a good number of these out there so we can get annual data and see what the lagoon temperature is like over, over the long term. So how are we going to do that? Well, you can see they have a little, uh, little hole right there. What I like to do is I like to put a uh, rubber glove around these that helps stuff get uh, not get fouled. Uh, this is the data uh, communication ports down here, so it's important to keep these guys clean. But what I like to do is I like to make these guys. So these are nothing high tech. They are simply a couple pieces of PVC stuck together. And so if we can get these guys off, uh, all we have is uh, this little piece of, um, uh, this is an inch and a half PVC. And then we have some end caps and I'm sitting here drilling uh, holes in these guys so that we have a good amount of water flow through here. Now, um, ideally I would make this out of Vexar and all that kind of good stuff, but uh, given the long duration, um, I'm a little worried about um, if the Vexar is going to stay in there. Uh, so uh, instead of having the end cap, instead of having this sucker capped with plastic, uh, my default model here is going to be uh, just a bunch of holes. So the worry would be over time, over many months, say, stuff might grow over here and clog this and mess with the water flow. But as long as we check these every six, eight weeks, something like that, shouldn't be a problem. So, so this guy will go inside just like this. All right, we're going to take this bad boy. Um, he'll have a little uh, protection on there, a little plastic glove protection. Uh, this guy will go on top, tighten him up. And then right here, I have some holes. And so for here, uh, we will attach that guy to an anchoring point. Generally, probably a piece of uh, a rock or, or coral rubble. But if we have a spot where there really isn't a convenient attachment point, we can jam in a little piece of metal here. And uh, then we can zip tie to this metal the uh, the holder. So that's my solution for doing temperature monitoring across the lagoon.